This guy is quite literally the father of English theatre design. Let's go. G'day, Paul from Small Crown Productions here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at the life of Inigo Jones, who was absolutely instrumental in the development of theatrical scenic design from Shakespeare's era. Born in Smithfield in July of 1573, he lived to the ripe old age of 78, dying in 1652. Born into a Welsh family, his father was a cloth maker. There's actually not much known about his early years, but there is a record to indicate that he took an apprenticeship as a joiner on St Paul's Cathedral. Now, it would seem in his younger years he was quite the illustrator, and those drawings caught the eye of a wealthy patron who funded him to go and train in Italy, and that training led him to Denmark, where he was able to work on the design of two palaces under King Christian IV. Returning to England in around 1603, he started to get work in set and costume design and became quite prolific in the design of the masks for the court performances under James I. He was quite a driving force of change in this field and one of the innovations he introduced in a play that he designed under James I was a set of triangular rotating screens all painted with Italian designs. Under the patronage of Queen Anne of Denmark, who was James I's consort, he is credited as having introduced movable scenery and the proscenium arch to English theatre. Now, between 1605 and 1613, he is credited as having produced at least nine of the court masks performed for James I. But between 1605 and 1640, he is recorded as having produced over 500 performances for the court often collaborating with Ben Jonson. Jones floated between scenic design and architecture, being very heavily influenced by the Roman design, and in 1615 was appointed Surveyor General of the King's Works. Jones oversaw the construction of many great English buildings, including the Queen's House in Greenwich, which is his earliest surviving work. Other buildings include the Queen's Chapel at St James Palace, Covent Garden Square, and the remodelling of St Paul's Cathedral. In 1621, through a by-election, he was voted in as a member of Parliament and remained in that position until February 1622 when that Parliament was dissolved. Then he continued to work in his position as Surveyor General, helping oversee the construction of buildings. In 1633, he was offered a knighthood but declined. In 1642, the English Civil War pretty much ended his career because of his affiliations with the Crown, and so he lived out his days unmarried in his Somerset home. Inigo Jones is without a doubt one of the greatest influences of English theatre design, and theatres today might not be the same had it not been for him. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, check out some of these other Shakespeare videos on the channel. I'll see you there.